Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Predictions. Um, I'm going to do roughly the same that I did with League Two. So I'll talk about the midweek games for the teams that play midweek. I'll uh, talk about that result. But then also do the weekend that the, uh, you know, when the clubs, other clubs played. Um, it makes sense at the end of the video, hopefully. Um, but, you know, there's a lot to talk about, a lot to do, so guys, let's get down to it, guys. This video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. Send my merch, link for my merch down in the description below, so feel free to check it out after watching this video. But anyway, guys, you know what to do, you know what I'd do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Portsmouth versus Watchdale. Um, Watchdale's last result was a 2-1 defeat to Coventry at, at home. Summing up on the Watchdale point of view, probably not too disappointing. Um, Coventry are currently sitting in the top two. Portsmouth, on the other hand, did beat MK Dons 3-1 at home. Um, do I think Port I've got a funny feeling Portsmouth might finish in the playoffs this year, possibly even a shout for the championship. Um, they're all going to go on who's in that final, I think. With Portsmouth, if Portsmouth get there. Um, going forward with this game, Rochdale, you know, are having a bit of a, you know, only four points in their last five games, losing the other two just gone. Portsmouth picking up a good nine points out of their last five games, winning three, losing the other two. But I'm going to go for Portsmouth win, and I'm going to go for a 2 0. Portsmouth win. My next one is Blackpool versus Itchridge. Um, Itchridge's last result was a 1 0 defeat at home to Oxford. Um, summing that up on an Itchridge perspective, yeah, um, not too great, is it really? Um, Blackpool's. Uh, uh, Last result was a free, t uh, sorry, a two-one win over Bolton at home. Um, Blackpool are one of them teams this year for me that are just like mid-table team. Yet yeah, again, it shows my age when I say I remember Blackpool in the Premier League. Um, it's which I don't know what their trouble is. They seem to get a bit of form and then they let it go. Um, it was currently on 52 points, picking up 4 points out of their last 5 games. Blackpool pick up 7 points out of their last 5 games. Um, I've got a funny feeling this one's going to be a draw. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Bolton Wanderers versus Accrington Stanley. Bolton Wanderers, you know, losing 3 to, uh, sorry, 2 1 away from home to. Uh, Blackpool, things are looking very bleak now for Bolton. There's a big shout for League One football next season. Sorry, League Two football. Um, I, was, I feel sorry for Bolton in so many ways, purely because of the start they had, having to play young boys, having to do set, you know, certain things at the start of the season, and um, points deduction. You know, plus nearly going into administration. It's, you know, I feel so sorry for Bolton. Plus, I've got family up there as well. Um, Accrington Stanley loses 3 0 to Oxford away. So, you know, you're going to look into this game. Accrington Stanley picked up nine points from their last five games. Um, currently sitting in 16th. With 39 points. Um, Bolton picking up no points out of their last five games. Coming on 11 points. 20 points away from safety. As I said the future looks very bleak for Bolton. Big shout for League 2 football next season. But hopefully come straight back up um, into League 1. So as this one goes. I'm going to go for a draw. And I'm going to go for a one on scoreline for that one. My next one is Bristol Rovers versus Shrewsbury Town. Um, Shrewsbury losing 3-2 at home to Tramia Rovers. 
big disappointment for Shrewsbury. Um, Bristol Rovers' last result was a 3-0 defeat away to Sunderland. Let's go and look at Shrewsbury quickly. Pick up four points out of the last five games. Bristol Rovers are another team that over the cup past few weeks have really given them a shout of playoff candidates and, and now are currently sitting on 42 points with four points out of the last five. I'm going to go for a big draw on this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Burton Albion versus Peterborough. Um, Burton Albion, last result was a 3-2 win over Southend um, away from home. Peterborough, I don't think, played. No, I don't think Peterborough played. Um, so I only go to give us the form table and um, Burton Albion losing uh, only got five points out of their last five games Peterborough a bit better twelve points out of their last five um, I'm gonna go for Peterborough win and I'm gonna go for a two one Peterborough win my next one is Doncaster Rovers versus Wickham Wanderers. Um, Wickham Wanderers losing three, uh, sorry, beating having a three-one at home. Big three points for Wickham there, possibly. Um, Doncaster losing one 0 away from home to Shrewsbury Town. This big disappointment from Doncaster there. Doncaster only picking up seven points from their last five games. Wickham Wanderers sit, sitting up at third, nine points out of their last five games. A game that I think Wickham do need to win overall um, to keep the pressure on the top two. Uh, there's only two points between the top two, but if the top two clubs win and let's say Wickham fail to lose, that's a big gap for Wickham to go on within the remaining weeks. So I'm going to go for a Wickham win, and I'm going to go for a 1-0 Wickham win. I'm expecting it to be tight as well. My next one is Gillingham versus AFC Wimbledon. Um, AFC Wimbledon, 0-0 nil, nil, nil at, at home to Blackpool. Um, Gillingham, last result, 0-0 nil, nil away to Lincoln. So both these teams going in with a nil-nil scoreline. Um, Gillingham picking up 11 points from their last five games. Um, Wimbledon down the mid, near the bottom pick, only picking up three points from their last five games. I'm in a massive favour for a Gillingham win here. And I'm in for a 3 nil Gillingham win. My next one is Oxford United versus Southend. Um, Southend loses 3 2 at home to Burton Albion. Um, at home, Oxford beating Accrington Stanley 3 0 at home also. Um, so both these teams, a bit of a different form going forward. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to go over to the form table quickly. Um, Oxford pick up 10 points from their last 5 games. Southend currently seeing the relegation zone, no points from their last 5 games. So, yeah, again, I'm in a massive shout for an Oxford United win. And I'm in for another 3 0 Oxford win for that one. My next one is Wolverham versus MK Dons. Wolverham. Um, drawing 1-1 one, one away to Coventry, big point um, for Coventry there. Um, MK Dons losing 3-1 away to Portsmouth. Um, form table, Wolfram picking up a great um, 11 points from their last 5. MK Dons only picking up 8 points from their last 5. Um, 
but I'm going to go for a bit of a shock for this one, and I'm going to go for another one all scoreline for that one. Expect a lot of draws this weekend. Um, my next one is Tramia versus Fleetwood. Tramia beating Shrewsbury Town 3 2 away from home. Fleetwood drawing 1 1 away to Sunderland. Big point for Fleetwood that could be come the end of the season. Fleetwood um, picking up 13 points from their last five games. Tramia, I think, is a little. Yeah, only four points from their last five games and are currently five points away from safety. I'm going to go for a fleet with wings. I think they need it to get the pressure on the uh, promotion places, playoff places. Um, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Coventry versus Sunderland. Um, a game I'll sh I will be watching. Sunderland one all at home against Fleetwood Town. Uh, Coventry one all at home to Fleetwood. So both these teams are going to go in with a draw. Um, Fleet uh, Sunderland fifty eight points, thirteen points from their last five games. Uh, Coventry um, currently sitting in second. With 13 points out of the last five. I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big platform. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.